Investmentn.com. Educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks, to Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 95. We got the Nasdaq up 16. S&Ps are up 8.5. We have gold up $3 at 12.46 an ounce. Silver's up six cents at $16.42 at an ounce. You get uh, light sweet crude making a run again. It's up a buck fifteen, forty nine dollars and seventy six cents. The ten year notes are down seven ticks, one thirty twenty three. Thirty year bond down thirteen at one sixty six oh six. And King Dollar just can't handle higher price. Down eight ticks, ninety four oh two. The yen is trading. The euro is trading at a dollar thirteen, and the yen is at one oh seven. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. Now, as you come over to the world of TFNN, check out the Nadex banner on the top, on the side. You can hit that banner, bring up the exchange. You'll, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these defined option contracts trade. Dalman, what's going on? How you doing, man? Morning, man. Doing, how you doing? doing fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, we have uh, no doubt uh, last week was phenomenal, the vol volatility. This morning, these S&Ps, my, ba my bear suit is still in the cleaners, Daryl. It looks like this S&P wants to go to the May 2015 high. I know, it keeps going and going. So, But I, we get these nice drops, and then boom, it pops right back up. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, it's it's I mean, it's been the perfect. Yeah. Last week was like just a week where the market was just sort of handing out money. It was sort of nice. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so let's have that trend continue and I'll be pretty happy with it. There's no doubt. So first, if we go over to the, the spy folks today in the marketplace is going to basically release quite a bit of information. The reason being is that the spies taken out the April highs, which is the uh, two hundred ten dollars and ninety two cents. And we'll see whether we get the volume. You know, you, if you get volume in here of, uh, you know, over 100 million, 110 million, you get an ABC structure on the way up, that will actually take it over the May highs of 2015. So that spike at 213 is game because the ABC structure has a price projection of approximately 115 on it, which is pretty wild, man. Um, gold out here, folks, uh, we take a look at gold, you know, gold had the, the wide price spread last week, had the volume, had, had all of the above as the bond market got croaked. And, uh, you know, we have with gold out here, you had 92,000 contracts already, you're at 1245, and it looks like it's going to make that run to the highs of uh, 1308. The XAU, the HUI, they're actually stronger than the contract. Um, you know, the XAU is trading at the 88.69, the high is uh, 93, and the Gold Bugs Index is trading out here at uh, 224 when that high is uh, 236. So there's certainly action out here. And, of course, uh, we're going to have uh, summer volume trading at least Monday and Friday. You know? Yeah. So what are you looking at out here today, Daryl? Anything? Um, I mean, I'm watching, I was watching the indices this morning. They're rising up. So, and I mean, I'm not convinced they're done yet. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they're hitting quite a bit of resistance at the moment. So, but we'll see. Uh, the volume already backed off right when it hit that last uh, peak. Right. And so I'm seeing if it'll, if it's just, you know, backing off for a second before it explodes through it or if we're actually going to look back and turn around. But right now, I mean, I've been watching the indices mainly. Yeah. So if we go over, you know, last, last Monday, Daryl, um, I took a trade on the, the binaries on Monday on a weekly. On gold. On gold, yeah. And, you know, I was looking at it, and it worked out good, thank God, okay? Um, this week, though, so if we look at this, it seemed to me, now this is where this gets interesting, folks, because last week I felt it was a good deal and it was like 30 bucks, but this week it's like, okay, you're going to go another $30. So. Walk them through the, yeah, $30 of the $100 binary, right? Of the, yeah, risk and 30 
with a max profit of 70 of the 100, just as to people? Yeah, well, it had to move 30. Oh, okay. Right. See, I thought you were talking about what you paid for it. Yeah. I, this is, I, I right. was even lost then. Okay. Right. It, it, it's spread. Yeah. yeah. No, not a spread. It was, he no, was, he, I actually was did a binary. Third, I did a weekly binary. It was $30 uh, above, you know, oh, the binary. Oh, $30 was, out of the money. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. out of the money, but $30 to the upside. Okay. Right. Got and it. you happen to pay about $20 for that of the, you know, for, right. for that option. All right. And so, so. Got it. And of course, the big move on. On Friday, yeah. did it. Um, and so if we look at this now, okay, so the pitch, you know, you, you had the spur, you know, uh, the spring up from. 1209 to 1247. And then if we go over and we take a look what's available inside these, because I was looking at these this morning. Okay, so what I was looking for first when I was looking, I says, okay, I only wanted to risk about 20 bucks for okay, one to four to five, exactly. Wait, for a four to one. Right? Yes. And it, in order to do that, folks, you had to get to the 1274.50. It's like, you know what, when I, when I look at this market right here, the 1274.50, you know, the next swing is 1264.80. And then, you know, you're dealing with 1285, but because of that swing there, it's like, man, that in itself is going to be a decent move, you know, because you're going to hit a lot of resistance. That was my take, you know, in this level coming across. So I, I, and I didn't want to risk... Yeah, higher that, than that. Last week, you thought, you know, there was a higher expectation that the market would move $30. That's still right. priced in. This week, right. you might not think so. No, I don't. Because yeah. right, it has to build some cars. You stay right there, folks. Tommy, Darrell, myself, we're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 86. Nasdaq's up 14. S&P's are up 8. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow right now up 95, Nasdaq up 17, S&Ps are up 9. And if you want to see something wild, folks, okay, you know, the dollar got croaked on Friday. And right now, the when I put up the commodities that trade the most liquid, the bottom line, this is the first time I've seen this in a long time, there's not one commodity that's in the red in the futures market. <laughs> that's pretty wild, man. King dollar is crushed. <laughs> You sound very happy about that. It's like you have a little bear suit on the dollar now. Well, no, you know, it, ha it, ha it, ha it has been for a while. Yeah, my, well, you know what's so funny? I mean, my bear suit was on the dollar anyway, and my bull suit was on the, the gold, you know what I mean? It just, you know, that, that destruction that came about on Friday, folks, okay, is indicating that you're gonna, you might be able to be trading this dollar on the downside for quite a while, you know, because the 91.88, we're at, we're at 94.03, 91.88 wants to get hit, and when you really take a look at this, though, more than likely what you're going to see is it's that 88 area, um, DX1, could be the next stop, which would be pretty intense, man, you know? So 88 is the highs of 2010, uh, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 8, 9, and 10, you know? We'll see whether it holds, uh, you know, next time down. It's been down here. In the past 15 months, it's been down here five times, and it's held every time. But that's quite a consolidation, you know? So the thing that is ironic is that, you know, the Fed continues to say they want to go up. We'll see what Yellen has to say today. I saw, I'm not sure whether she's speaking today or she's... Yeah, today it's about 12.30. At 12.30, okay. Well, she's going to be hard-pressed to say she's going to go up on rates now after 38,000 new jobs. Yeah, hey. Well, I suspect... It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter what she says, and I think to the market it doesn't right, matter. Right, that's kind says. of why I nodded because I think she'll yeah. probably try and say that, yeah. or something to that tune. Yeah, <laughs> she's not going to say, "Man, what a horrible jobs report." We're not raising rates now. You know, I mean, she's going to try and put a spin on right. Well, that, I, that they're still yeah on par for the course, pretty much maybe at, at, at a minimum. <laughs> that's right? exactly I mean, that's like what, it, that, that, except for they'll settle smoother with like about a five right, paragraph exactly. statement. Exactly. But it'll be like, oh, we're doing kind of really well, kind of, but exactly. we need it's gonna be banks to continue to improve because they're doing so well already. Right. And so therefore, we we'll, we're going to look for a continued improvement right. in all of our interest yeah. areas and jobs, and because that's our problem, or job is to manage that. And we will keep <laughs> you updated on the exact path steps that we're going to take as we try to figure out yeah. exactly what we're going to do. And we Trying will let you know wiggle room too. something in the future. <laughs> She's going to have a hard time. I can't wait to hear that thing. Yeah. You know, so I just brought up the Fed Fund's futures rate, folks, okay? So it's all but off the table for, well, the, yeah. the, the bet is all but off the table for um, June. Uh, July, right now, July 27th is 30% probability of a hike. September's 44. Where are you fighting this? This is, um, if, you, if you look at my screen, this is the Fed Fund futures rate that's tradable. So right. I just have I, I just hit a button and it all comes up. Um, well, the, the reason I bring it up is because Nadex has like those Fed fund rate events. That's a beautiful thing. Well, let's go find them. <laughs> I, I've never traded them because they're not super liquid. <laughs> oh, OK. okay. <laughs> but I'm like, those futures things may make for I mean, I, I would only demo this to everybody in, out there. But, uh, you know, it's looking at this. They have these. Oh, fund this rates. is good, man, because I'd trade this even though it's uh, do they have, oh, let's, they have a binary, right? A binary. Yeah, um, they're not listed yet. They say they open in time seven days. Basically, when the Fed Fund's rate's going to come out. Okay. So I guess they're saying seven days left. So I guess they'll open up here before they announce the next rate. Sure, like, yeah. And uh, they also have a jobless claims. That one they do every week. See? Yeah. Look and at they, that. And they're, they're a little bit different on the – got to look at the event ones because notice when you buy them, it's greater than or equal to instead okay. of less than or equal to. Okay. Okay. So – 
Like if it's, it's twenty six thousand cool, one hundred, yeah. then it's yeah. So they got the jobless claims now. Notice the size is like five, you know. Which I mean, most people are, are trading less sure. than, you know. Just this isn't something you're gonna go do. And I mean, you're. I don't know. This is a little more on the betting side, in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, it's obviously if you, not if you a liquid really, market as it's as yeah, like it's not super liquid. Yeah, you're not gonna do five hundred contracts. But I mean, if you're looking at like the future funds rate, like what you were talking about, yeah. okay, to see the percentage. And it loads up, and then you look at it, you go, okay, well, what, you know, it says, you know, quarter, you know, less, now this one, notice how it says less than or equal to a quarter percent, equal to 0.5, or greater than equal to 0.75. Right. So, basically, when you're buying, you're saying the statement is true, and when you're selling, you're saying the statement is false. I particularly like that Fed funds rate. The reason being, because what I was just going to bring up, you know, Daryl and, and folks, is that, you know, as Tommy and I bring this up all the time, this thing changes, like, big time, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, one day, well, anytime you get the news, I think it all changes at once, though. It does. What, it, know, does. It's, it does. It does. There's like no. A, there's yeah. no doubt. You know. So if you're trading this, and let's say you knew there's some, you know, conversation like yelling is coming up and talking at 12:30 right. and this and that, whatever. Right. Might be a time to go in if you could find a cheap one and put a trade on. I'm yes. Throw some random you ideas. Get some out. big movement. A really right? no. cheap, like a good return trade. To go, you know, hey, she may say something to make them change their mind, thinking they're going to raise the rate or this or that or whatever. Yes. And then it pops up, and then I mean, like anything else, you know, take your money and get it off the table. Right. You don't need to wait till the funds rate comes out. No. You know? And so you, it may, looking for okay, when are they speaking? I want to get on before they're speaking, and maybe I want to take advantage of that, and then because the ideally, movements have been that dramatic. That's and if it goes against, and me, I suspect then, of course, because of the bond I'll, market, it's going to continue being that dramatic. Yeah. So I don't know. I just like I said, just brainstorming, but you know, a way to have some fun at trading. You know, this is. No, that's... You know, you know, I mean, like I said, maybe a contract or just demo, you know. If you, right, uh, right. On how much I'll, I'll try the demo account. first, man. That, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a good little deal, though. Yeah. But like, it can be fun. It's more of a fun thing. You know, I, I wouldn't make it's not somebody's, like, bread and butter, but it's uh, it'd be fun. Well, the way that, the, you know, <laughs> this, the, the odds were here before... It was about 30, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and it was uh, over 55 or 50, 50, 57 for Did July. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember that one. These were all over. Know. You might be thinking September. It no, was, it was July. Okay. Yeah. You know, so it's going to be, you know, pretty wild watching, you know, even after she talks at noon as to, you know, where this is going to go. Let's go to Charlie in Framingham. Hey, Charlie, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. How you doing, and man? Tommy. Hey. Morning, Charlie. Oh. Good morning. How's it going, man? Okay. Uh, it's going great. The weather's fine. It's going to have showers, but at least oh, we're back good. to, you know, fairly warm We're getting like a week of rain here. started off with, I, I, I don't, guess I we, don't want to hear we, it. We missed, yeah, yeah you, nothing <laughs> like, believe me, and we missed, we missed the worst of what we could have gotten, but. Are you still getting slammed, Daryl? It, yesterday I saw dry dirt. I felt like Noah. <laughs> wow. Like, oh, something came back. Yeah, uh, we can so, use some rain actually right now. We haven't yeah. gotten good rain in a while, and we have some Florida heat, so nothing, nothing too crazy like Texas rain. But we'll take yeah. some rain. Yeah, like I mean, there's like the memes that are going out online are like this. Okay, I'm going to Whataburger. Do you anything with a big submarine in the parking lot? You know? Yeah, no, you guys have some. Fun. <laughs> you didn't know you're going to get a world weather report, did you, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew Texas has had its problems. But yeah, hey, that's, I know. That's why I live in New England. Thank yeah. God, earthquakes. It's what number one. It's supposed to be a really high target area, but you know we haven't had any. So you get thunderstorms. You might get hail. You might get a tornado tour. You know, Worcester, maybe a hurricane. But you know, it. we don't. Hey, we stay, don't get stay, real. stay right there. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back. We're going to be looking at uh, the oil market and the potash market. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. If it's called, folks, we're talking with Charlie from Framingham. And, Charlie, you want to look at uh, UCO in pot, right? Exactly. Okay, so let's take a look at it. The UCO, folks, is the ProShares uh, Ultra, which is the 200% daily performance of the benchmark, uh, which is the crude oil sub-index. So you're up 51 cents today. Now, you own this, right? Yeah, I sold half my position at 1344 last week. Okay. But so I'm kind of thinking <laughs> you know, given given everything that's happening uh, as far as the jobs, it just to me it's the time to pretty much maybe get rid of it. Yeah, it's a close one, man. You know, it, what's intriguing here is that I, I was looking at oil all morning cuz I wanted to shot a couple of the oil stocks, right? And they weren't ready, man. It's like, you know, they came down with some volume, but this oil market, you know, looks like it wants to go break that $50 level. You know, right now we're up a buck 11, you get 200,000 contracts. So I'd hang there for a few more days, Charlie. Um, what, does that, what does that translate in as far as the UCO? It would go... As far as the target. So if we go, if we take a look at it, Right now we're at 1331, and what you'd want, okay, so your high, you know, the last time you were up there was at 1347. You did mm -hmm. 6.9 million, and it looks to me like now what's happening is that you're gonna push into that, you are pushing into that, and we've already done 2.9 million. So that's saying that it wants to push the high with volume. Oops, I can't put in a weekly like that. I can't <laughs> see enough. Look at that. I know. Oh, my God. That's weird, huh? The weekly needs to contain $200. Yeah. That's what it does. Yeah. Exactly. So when we, we, we just brought that up, folks, it just doesn't relate well because of the way that this came down so fast. Okay, so let's try yearly, daily. Okay, it's a little bit clearer. 
So that's 1705. Next swing point is 12. I'd stay there, Charlie, because it. <laughs> this will be an interesting man, because it actually the, the the next swing relates to uh, like. Well, that's not that high up. 14, 1424, and where I'm going, that's the highs of December of 2015 to 1603. I think it's the lowest. It was the what was it? Okay. I went on that. See the. It said 14.23. That's the lower. That oh, uh, thank you. So, yeah, 1535, Charlie. And okay. That, that's the high. There's a gap there, too. Not that gaps above don't have to get filled. Um, now, if we go over to Potash, do you own Potash right now? Yeah, I, I bought it uh, probably about the same time. Um, I'm not in a profit position yet, but it's on like 2% down right now. But okay, so this is really strong. What you have is this, the, the, the agricultural potash equities, folks, are strong like bull. And the, one of the main reasons is when we just brought up those futures, you know, beans, wheat, they're on a tear beyond belief, con. And what happens is that when you have those commodities, you know, like if we look at beans, beans have just gone from 863 to 1149. That means the potash producers, which they always need, are going to raise their prices ASAP. You know, so uh, you get some real action here, man. Um, you know, your swing point. Let me just pull this back a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, this is a consolidation, and it wants to make a run for that 1938. And if you get volume there, you could get. Uh, yeah, it looks like 1938 to 2050. 2050 was where it dove down September of 2015. But there's real good action there. And the correlation, of course, inside the agricultural market is there, too, because those things have gone to the moon. That's, that's, that's a little rocket ship, man. Yeah, well, let's hope. I, it sounds good, and um, I'd have to agree that it's got to go higher. Thanks a lot, Tom. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. The... Uh, those agricultural commodities, man, are moving. Could you imagine being a farmer? You have all your, all your the grains are coming up, and it's like you planted the right thing. And the prices are going through the roof. Whoa, yeah. baby, yeah. big deal for sure. And you're all like trying to sweat. Do I sell it today? Do I sell it today? Because I, I used to work on a farm on a corn and soybeans farm, and okay, I was watching the quotes <coughs> every single morning. I had a satellite dish coming in, just feeding the quotes. Really? He'd call his broker. That up makes sense. He'd, he'd sell it off and lock it in. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it totally For makes sure. sense too. And then if it, just, if it closed, if it came down, he would just close out the uh, <coughs> trade, and if it went up, he would actually just deliver it. Okay, so. I know that's pretty cool when you do the market like that, right? Yeah. yeah. The, the the problem would be that if you sold it and then you got a storm and didn't and you couldn't deliver it, right? Now then you call your property your uh, farmers insurance. If I, yeah, so that's just, why they're called farmers insurance to begin with because they insured farmers. Yeah. No, <laughs> I I get. Oh, that's so funny. That's how they started too. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Is that State Farm, too, or is that that's different? Yeah, State, State Farm. Farmer's insurance, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, out of Illinois, out of, what is it, outside of uh, Bloomberg. Okay. Yeah, not Bloomberg. Uh, uh, Bloomington. Bloomingdale? Bloomington. Yeah, Bloomington. Bloom yeah, because that's, I was, I worked for their firm, like their law firm or whatever, when I was in grad school. Okay. Peoria, yeah. So, <clears throat> but, yeah, so it was interesting because I was learning about farming insurance while I was there. Insurance is a great business, man. No doubt. Options, but, insurance, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here today. So you get uh, Bank of America up 14 cents. Uh, Freeport, Mac Moran's up 43. You get Chesapeake up 19. Um, Pfizer's up 21. Marathon is up 63. You know, inside of here, you know, we're looking, you, you see, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of commodity stocks in here. Yeah, that would make sense, them when they're all up, right? yeah. as in every commodity. Seriously, man. Look, at you get Southwest Energy, Cliffs Natural, Transocean, Alcoa, Marathon Oil, Whitting Petroleum, Chesapeake, Weatherford, Freeport Mac Moran, WXP. There's shale driller. Global Star. Yeah, man. That's, that's so... Okay. 
Hold on, folks. And they weren't small numbers. I mean, no. most of them were up at least over a percent, and I saw a bunch that were up like three, four, five, six, seven percent. Yeah, and so. uh, and and that's where you know, if we go over to the small caps for a second. Uh, well, they all have, they all have these, all they they all have these wells drilled and ready, and they just haven't oh, been tapped. Oh, sure. Yeah. And now the prices are starting to pop back up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's the, literally uh, like having a printing press, and you just have like a certain amount of electricity costs that you have to pay for that press to be on. Right. right? And at some point, yeah. electricity costs. You know, it, it's it's profitable or it's not, right? And turn it on, well, turn it off. Turn well, on. they just start they just start storing it. They don't sell it. They'll just store it. Okay. Keep pumping it. What they have, they'll keep a minimal crew to to keep uh, pumping and storing the oil that they have until it's worth it. And then uh, the, the hard part is for all the guys that do the new rigs. They don't obviously open up new rigs until prices are high enough to justify it. And um, but as it starts going back up, then also they'll they, they have that extra oil to start dumping off, and they can sell it off. They can make a profit. They can hire new guys in, and they can start drilling again. Yeah, it can go quick, I'm sure. And yeah. I, yeah. I bet they're blessing themselves, man, because this oh. had to be a tough one for them. Scary times when oil yeah. was at 27. I'm sure. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, it was very very tough around here. I know I that. Bet. Yeah. yeah. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Tommy Dow, and myself, we're coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up 105. Nasdaq's up 20. S&P's are up 10. We're gonna be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. You get the Dow up 107, you get the NASDAQ up 21, S&Ps are up 10. And don't forget, folks, uh, at TFNN, 
Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do live programming, 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. Tuesday, Thursday, 7 in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. You get all of that right on your cell phone, tfnn.com. Hit Tiger TV. And uh, as you come over to TFNN, you're going to see our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, is going to be doing a workshop. He sure is. He's doing it uh, the 14th of June. Let's see when that is. That is going to be... I should know my dates better. Yeah, time is really flying. I had to do it. I it's thought a week it was from a Tuesday. week from Tuesday. And I said the 14th, though, and I was like, I better look that up, man. It's crazy. It is the 6th, tomorrow's the 7th, and that's yeah. a week from tomorrow. Um, yeah, so he's talking about the oscillator unchanged line. So if you've watched his show, he talks about it, and um, he put together a nice little explanation with some points about what he's going to be talking about with giving about support resistance, converging patterns, identifying reversals, retracements. Um, and, you know, you get that just by signing up for a free trial for his newsletter. Now, normally his newsletter actually doesn't have a free trial. We do it occasionally. Okay. But usually it's a money-back guarantee, and so we've opened up the free trial. You can get 30 days. You pay nothing. You attend his workshop a week from tomorrow. And... Um, of course, I think you get a, a, a webinar. Yeah, you get access to his money management webinar, which will be on your members page, which is 90 minutes, I believe. Um, you get use of his position sizing tools, so you can kind of see how he's, what kind of position size you should take within his newsletter. And of course, you get the newsletter itself, daily newsletter coming out every morning, and you get to attend the workshop a week from tomorrow. So I, think, I believe it's a 60-minute workshop. Yeah, 6.30 till 7.30 next Tuesday night. So I right on the front page of TFNN, folks. Let's go to Steve in Nashville. Hey, Steve, what's going on? No Duncan today. It's Panera Pete. Ah, Panera Pete. Oh, it's Pete. Panera Pete, huh? <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, some Panera news this morning. I don't know if you heard. They're getting sued by a family because they served their child something with peanuts in it. Oh, Serious wow. story. True story, yeah. So hey, hey Daryl, yeah. what, what is, and, and, and where you live, is it is it Starbucks? Is it Dunkin' Donuts? Is it uh, something else? What's the big what's coffee What's the big coffee out? deal? Uh, Hello? He's having some right now. Yeah, maybe Daryl. Okay. <laughs> Either way. Okay. You know, the good one around here, and they, uh, Duncan just took them out, was um, Honeydew. Oh, yeah. Honeydew, honeydew is great. They have the best I think donuts right, right away when I hear that yeah. name. Man. I do, too. Honeydew donuts. I loved Honeydew. They had a great Honeydew donut place in South Boston, man. I remember <laughs> yeah, that. The, the I think donuts, donuts yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you, you know, what I'm looking at here is uh, CX, uh, CMAX on a one-year weekly. Okay, let's take a look. We got C, uh, CX, which is CMEX, which is, I believe, probably one of the largest concrete builders in the world, or uh, suppliers. Yeah, one, they one do year, all of it. Yeah, 225 billion. <laughs> Isn't yeah, that amazing? There's a lot of revenue. Yeah. Now, this is the one. Do you remember what Carlos called us on this? I'm not sure. Yeah, so let me look at this. I remember this, man. Taking a trillion dollars every four years. Not bad. Yeah, but we, remember we looked at their debt, too. Okay. It, and what, what ended up happening is that so the there's no yeah, doubt. what's the market cap, right? Yeah, the market cap's a $9 billion company, right? Yeah. But they're taking in $250 billion a year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. And it's because the debt's so on, big. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so on a, on a weekly, right at the um, February mark there, roughly, uh, both the... Maxi and the stochastics are bottomed out, and then it took off obviously from 350 on up to 750, and then now it's backing off. I'm wondering if it's uh, it's like an ABC. I know. I, I like how it looks, man. I can, you know, I have it on a weekly right now, and if it is an ABC, it's a big one because 350 is your A. Well, no, it's three three dollars. Seven fifty should be, which it probably makes more yeah. sense. I'm just remembering when Carlos called. It probably was like a four billion dollar company, right? And that's yeah. really when it was like, man, they take in a right. trillion dollars every four years, and they're only worth four billion dollars. Right. Think about that. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I noticed the uh, weekly uh, short volume there. It's, uh, it's volume, you know, it's going down on that volume, of course. You know, this does look good, man. You know, it, it's in. If you if you go for it, what I do is I would put us really a, sh a stop right you know only give it about 30 cents man um yeah. well you could actually put the stop on the six dollars and 30 cents which is not even that that's that's a swing from the 19th the reason being so what you have here is that you know this is a nice run up it came back to its breakout area from march with light volume friday it had a nice day so that's saying this thing wants to run up to the 669 to seven dollars in, you know, seven fifties game, and the bottom line is that with low interest rates, when you owe that much money, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, brother. Thank you.
Thank you again, guys. Have a great one, Bye. man. Have a safe Thanks, one. Steve. Take care. Hey, so, Daryl, we didn't get to talk with you after, uh, I know, we, yeah, on Friday. That was pretty wild about uh, the uh, the Fed, right? And, I mean, the jobs number, right? Yes. That yeah. was absolutely insane. Yeah. So, I mean, everything went berserk. Like, huge, massive moves. It, 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 was, it was fast and furious, man. <laughs> it was like, and... You know, to go from 160 to 38 is pretty intense. I mean, I knew yeah. the Verizon workers, they had already right. 35 grand, 35 that. Thirty-five workers, right. 35,000, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be wild to see what ends up happening, of course, in the next one. The next one's going to be... Uh, yeah, people yeah. will be really looking for that number. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about looking for that number. Man, oh, They're man. Be, that'll add to the volatility quite a bit, too. Yeah. It will. So. And it usually will. it's not that much of a difference in one, you know, back no. to back to back. So it'll add a lot of premium to the options, most likely, through the high demand. Right. Because you have to worry, if you were that far off in the estimates, maybe you could be that far off again next week, right? Yes. I mean, that's that true. is something yeah. that's, you know, either that or there's something that's happening with the economy right now that the job growth just that's stopped. That's what I mean, that they just right. can't, everyone's right. not estimating it correctly because are they really aware of what's going on in the economy, I think. Is what, right. That, at least a big miss like that makes you question that. It, it, should. it does. Yeah. You know what's going to be wild is that the jobs number always has plenty of conspiracy theories behind it because of the you know the politicians are in they make it big they make it small you can and argue a lot of ways on it you can and uh this one here though is going to be a tough one because it's going to be like hold it if they fix the numbers that well they just did the wrong thing do you know what i mean the democrats are ruling so it's like okay so what really happened here and i think no matter what when you're that far off in the estimates it's like that's where it's tough to argue that you actually fudged it. Like, exactly. You know, no, that's right. my point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's right. like, right. that's like, okay, why would you do that? That's a miss. Yeah. Well, you're, you're you're saying something different than what I'm saying. You're saying why would they manipulate it that way? And I'm saying no matter what goes on in those numbers, it's so far of a risk, a uh, miss, that it just it speaks to a miss. No matter what. Yeah. yeah no, I'm saying I'm saying in general that. I don't think they're fudging the numbers. That it, okay. Because that's kind of, you know, like if they fudge the numbers, guess what? Would you really come out with 38,000 when you get an sure. election coming up? I don't sure. think so. Do you know what I mean? So, sure. right. well, the counter argument would be, well, what would if they're fudging it and it should have been a miss of 150? I'm just saying, <laughs> there's no, I, that's. Right. Oh, it should have been a miss of 150. There's always a minus you can, 150. There's always you, you an can argument trade to what be they made tell you. if you Through think they're balls. manipulating it, that they could be manipulating it. You know, that's what, there's yeah. always that argument in theory. Oh, I had a cool event happen this weekend. Yeah? My daughter has been training my horse, Biscuit. Okay. To barrel race. So, and she's uh, taking him out to the Little Britches Series Finals this weekend, which is, uh, there's like 40 states that compete. Okay. And she's doing the Oklahoma, Texas one, and then she goes off from that one to the, the American one, which has like all the states. And um, she had a nice, clean little run on him. She did pretty well. Biscuit, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good name. Huh? I like that name. Yeah. yeah. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Daryl, Tom, and myself, we're, we're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And, of course, don't forget, you stay right there. I got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. Swim lessons, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself. You stay right there. Daryl, Tommy, and I are coming right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. 
As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. And, of course, don't forget, folks, um, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, we got the oil numbers coming out at 1030. Thursday, you got the gas numbers coming out at 1030. We do. Um, and we're out here uh, just about each and every day trading this Nadex product. Now, if you haven't traded the product yet, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. Hit the banner on the top of the side. You can bring up the account, and they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And, uh, you know, the way that uh, the gas market has finally got off this low. So it's going to be intriguing seeing, uh, well, seeing both. Uh, oil's at the highs, and the gas market is also at highs. Uh, well, at highs for where it's been. In context, for yeah, sure. Exactly, you know. for sure. And so those announcements at 1030 are always uh, good to trade off of, you know. Yeah. You know, I was just taking some time and I was pulling up the crude weeklies because you'd taken a look at the gold weeklies. Okay, and yeah, taking a look at right. it And I was just curious myself what type of a move. You like risking 20 with a possible yes. profit of like 80. Right. That's a good number for right. when you're trying to gauge the market. Right now, oil's at about 49.70. Yeah. So you can see the market. I mean, one trade, 51.25 is about 27. So you're risking one to make three there approximately. Okay. And then, you know, going up another dollar, 52.25 you'd be risking about 15.50. So it's somewhere in the oh, middle. Oh, I like and that they one. The same thing. They have, they have oh, let me look at that. One second. I mean, 52.25, that's, you're, you're looking at a 250 move, about 255 by week's end. And of course, these expire at 230. So I like that. So it'd be 230 Friday. Well, let me look at this, man. That's that's a good move. I mean, it's not a bad, no. when you're looking at the spread between the See, bid and yeah. the offer, it's only about five or five dollars and 50 cents. That's nice on a binary where you can get in, get out maybe if you want to, and you're not, you know, foregoing so much on that spread where maybe you could trade it. And we're pushing that, and we're, I think we're pushing, one second. So we It'd got, be a big number. I mean, going I know. above 50. No, 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 it's, 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 it is what it is, right? It is what it is, man. <laughs> wow, this is a pretty cool one. Okay, hold it. I got to keep my eyes on this thing. Um, see, I like those odds, man. Yeah. It's like I mean, 250. Because I think if this busts 50, man, if it stays above 50, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really go. It's okay, not going to, sure. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's one of these deals. So 10 contracts would be 155 bucks, man. Yes. I think that's a good deal. Well, hold on. What's the one below that? 10? Yeah, so the one below is 270 for 10 contracts. 27 per contract to make about 730. And what's the, I just, here, I can't. It's I, dollar by dollar, so it'd be 5125. They're literally on the, on the 25 cent. That's a lot better. But then it's 27. My odds. <laughs> that's the yeah. whole. That's the whole name thing. of the game. It you is got the whole th okay. No, I'm going with. I'm. I'm. I'm okay. Doing, yep. I'll take 10. Okay. So. 
1550. You're going to hit him at the offer. Perfect. And you got him. Okay. So yeah. we'll see where that one goes. That's I like that bet. I like that trade. Yeah. No, yeah. no, for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, you're, 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 it's a, a low risk, high reward, you right. know, low probability trade. Right. But same thing, you know, risking 15 to make 85. Right. Um, you only bad. have to be profitable one out of, right. you know, five times. And, and what you trade. have is that the Somani folks, okay, I was, this is what's so cool. You know, I was looking to, I'm looking to shot this market. Okay. So I was all over gold, I mean, oil and gold, like, since 6 o'clock this morning. Do you okay. know what I mean? I'm saying to myself, you know what? This oil market's not ready to go yet. Well, we'll Maybe, be... So I just will flip the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll really be paying attention to those Wednesday numbers now. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that'll be a big... I mean, there's that that premium will drop after those numbers come out. So that's yeah. important to take advantage of. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. The man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is coming up next. And, of course, then Swim Lessons, uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, uh, myself... Daryl, thank you so much, man. You, you have a great one and a safe one. All right, you too, man. Thanks, Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. You stay right there, man. Mr. Uh, Basil, Basil Chapman's yeah. coming right up. <laughs>since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.